last part of this video, I'm going to show you um, some After Dark screensavers. And uh, these are pretty cool. Now, mind you, the screensavers that you're about to see were intended to protect CRT monitors from burn-in. They were very important. And um, they're not as important today as they were then. Now they're just an entertainment factor. Um, but back then, they had a real purpose. And that was to save your expensive CRT from developing burn-in when you walk away to get a cup of coffee or grab lunch. So let's take a look at some of these After Dark screensavers. After Dark was an expandable screensaver module that was very popular in the 1990s. I believe it came out in 1989, originally. And um, you could actually add modules. You could buy them from other vendors or from After Dark itself and add them to your screensaver collection. And they could rotate. You would, you would just randomly choose a screensaver. I'm going to just shut up and show you After Dark. The first one is Starry Night. Now Starry Night forms a city skyline with comets and multicolored stars. It's really cool. One of my favorites. I'm going to just shut off my monitor here. So you have an absolute stunning picture. And it goes on and on like that. Eventually it clears out and it rebuilds itself. The next one I'm going to show you is Bouncing Ball. Bouncing Ball is exactly what it sounds like. Now you can change the color of the Bouncing Ball to whatever you choose. In this case we're going to choose... Um, oh, here we go. Let's do a red ball. It shows up well on camera. It even has sound effects. Can of Worms. Now this one reminds me of the Langoliers. I'm sure you can see why. Clock. Clock is apparently broken. Doodles. This one's kind of boring. We can change the complexity of the drawings with a slide button and the speed. Pretty cool. Down the drain. This one I, I'm really not really sure about. Oh, I see. I can't. Oh, I see. I didn't. I didn't see this before. But there's actually drain holes in the center. They're covered by this box. Cool. Fade away is exactly what it sounds like. It causes the screen to fade over time until it fades to black. Next one is fish. This is one of my favorites. It includes. Um, sound effects, which are pretty awesome for 1991. And the sea floor actually sometimes has seaweed on it. But I can turn the sea floor off. Just like that. So it's just fish. I can change the number of fish. But the more fish you have, the worse it runs. And the old 680 30 processor we've got going on this machine, so um, we're going to bring the complexity down to 6 so it runs a little better. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Flying Toasters, which was a rip-off of a Jefferson Airplane album cover. Quite famous, actually. It's been parodied many times, but this is the original Flying Toasters. Isn't that cool? The original, the only, After Dark Flying Toasters. Okay. We can even change the color. I want to see how that works out. See, you can actually change the color of the toast from dark to light. Watch this. I can burn the toast. Let's burn the toast, shall we? 
I can turn color off. So this will run on a black and white Macintosh as well as a color one. Can you hear the sound effects? Ain't that grand. Um, hard rain. It's actually colored rain. Um, can change the drop rate, drop life. We saju. I think this one. No, this is the lines, the geometric line pattern generator, like a spirograph, and it's really awesome. They're all really awesome. Logo it just shows the um, any logo you pick. You can pick anything you wish, uh, but the default logo is Berkeley Systems. But well, let's do the robot. Uh, that's pretty cool. So you can actually upload your company logo and use that as your screensaver. Ain't that grand? Messages. Well, this is a lot like the um, Microsoft Windows message. Only this one's a little bit different. The Windows one scrolls from left to right. This one kind of gyrates. It can kind of float. You can scroll it too, like this. And apparently it has sound effects too. Nice. Multi-module does not work, but Nightlines does. Look at that. I could stare at this all day long. Okay, enough of that. We have more to see. Pix player, it just shows pictures. I'm not going to bother with that one. Picture frame. I'm not really sure what that one's all about. Anyway. Puzzle. Turns the entire display into a slide puzzle. You can also invert the screen, too. Neat. Rainstorm is exactly what it sounds like. And that's what it sounds like. It's got lightning, too. Okay. Randomizer. That's just random screensavers. Rose. This one's neat. It builds a colorful rose or flower-like pattern behind the screen, and it is just dazzling. All right, enough of that. Satori. Now this is one that I found a Windows equivalent that was like an acid trip. I mean, you you could just follow this tunnel of shapes and patterns. You could just sit there and, 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 and just lose yourself in the screensaver. This one is not quite as, as, as fancy, um, although it's, it's interesting, but uh, you can change the resolution to, to a much higher resolution. Nevertheless, this is really cool. And you can imagine, now you think, 22 years ago, this was high-tech stuff. I mean, this was crazy high-tech. I mean, to have something like this on your desk with this screensaver... Now, this was a $5,000 computer system. The screensaver alone was about 100 bucks. I mean, it meant you had some money. And that was in 1991 dollars. So, the slideshow... You have to load images into these to make them do things. Spheres. This one's kind of cool. It shows, like, they look like Easter eggs. They're spherical. That's why they call it spheres. And uh, it just shows, you guessed it, spheres. Spotlight was one that I liked when I was growing up. I had a teacher that had this as a screensaver, and I just would stare at it, and then she'd yell at me, pay attention to class. I didn't care. I'm looking at the spotlight, bitch. All right, so that's that. A starry skyline... It may be an older version or a different version from the stars one we saw earlier. Some of these are quite similar. It does the same damn thing. String theory. It just 
It shows these uh, wild geometric stringy pattern things with rainbow colors. You change the color speed in this one so the colors change more rapidly. You get the idea. Supernova. It's like a bomb going off. That's the idea. Different colors too. Whoa. Trippy. There's another one. A vertigo. I'm not really quite sure of this one. But it is awesome. And we have two more. Warp. Now this, whoa, I can feel myself sinking into the chair, but, wow, alright, you can also make it black and white if you choose to do so. This way it runs faster on a color machine or it runs on a black and white machine. Pretty cool. And Zot. Now I have it set to its um, maximum, we can change that. Every three seconds it lightnings, but it's not working, it, it's kind of messed up. Uh, and that was it, and that concludes our broadcast day. Let's shut her down. Thanks for watching.